Balcony TV. Hey, Balcony TV. Welcome to a beautiful day here in Miami. We have Chloe Delandis with us. What song are you going to do today? Uh, we're doing Dancing on Cloud 10. All right, let's hear it. I caught up chasing I was always bracing myself To brave the wake of every storm that blew by The birds would lead me Longing to be up there with the wishes In a cotton candy sky But one look at you and my heart learned to fly You got me in a rhythm that I know ain't gonna stop That's a beautiful song. That's a really beautiful song. Thank you guys so much for sharing that. How are you guys feeling? You doing good? Yeah, we're doing awesome. It's a day at the beach and we're playing music. What could be better? <laughs> Got a good point there, totally. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves. You're like, you guys are playing a whole bunch. You got a big band, small bands, all kinds of bands, bands that make you dance. We have several sizes of bands. We, we come in many forms. But um, we actually met playing in this 14 to 17 piece big band called the Jazz Rats or Ratette. So uh, we both went to FAU uh, for, for college, for undergrad. And, uh, and we met playing at this, with this band there and, and just decided to get together and start doing original stuff uh, in a smaller arena so it's right. it's been amazing and we, we actually have like several other friends who we've gone to school with um and then who we know through other musicians and and now we're playing little network yeah a little network it's it's amazing to be doing this with our friends that's beautiful that's awesome so you guys got like some albums where do we find your music how can we get a hold of it? you guys got so much going on it's hard <laughs> to like do that plus you're like i'm a little starstruck here because you're all like slime time nickelodeon <laughs> host so, okay, so the background is that I hosted a couple TV shows. I was on Nickelodeon for a few years. So I hosted Friday Night Slime Time and Splat, which were two, like, slime-based shows, which was so much fun. Nice. Um, and, then, and then while I was doing that, I was writing a lot of music. And I said to myself, okay, I need to really, hmm. like, recalibrate and focus on, like, where my heart is. And I love the hosting. Like, I love your job. I want to do your job even more. Oh, here, totally. Take it. No, we'll do it together. We'll do it together. But, um... 
but the music is really what what spoke to me. So um, so it it just sort of flipped, and uh, and now you can hear a ton a ton of new music. Um, ChloeDelandis.com is where you can hear everything. It's a great website too. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's awesome. So you have your own day in Boca. Sorry to keep talking about you, but you're just so awesome. <laughs> you're probably used to yourself, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Well, um, I, I we'll, we'll just focus on the question, I guess. I'm getting, I get shy. Like, um, Boca has been amazing to me. I grew up there, and uh, I was really involved in the community. Um, That's great. So, so when I when I was in high school and I was in college, I did a lot of service work, um, and then I was doing a ton of music, and I won this singing competition called Rising Star. Nice. And the mayor happened to be there, which was super cool. And he's like, "Hey, I've watched you progress th through the years, and we want to honor you." with a proclamation and a day named after you. So January 13th, I think it was 2004, uh, was like the Chloe DeLandis day. So it's every year. I mean, we can celebrate the anniversary. I'm going to do so. it. You can't stop me. All right. We can like, I think the first year, I like. I think I went and did karaoke to celebrate. I was like, yeah. That's awesome. It was fun. <laughs> now it'll be like 40-piece bands. Yeah. And like... Yeah, we totally have a thing coming up with a 40-piece band, which is super exciting. That guitar is beautiful, Christian. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome, man. He has a collection. He's like a guitar master. A collection. bit of a connoisseur, you could say. Connoisseur, yeah. Some people call you a hoarder, a guitar hoarder, maybe. I don't know. Well, you know, different shows for different folks, I suppose. <laughs> nice answer. That was good. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Thanks for letting me be here. And I uh, appreciate it. Tune in every Tuesday for more great artists. Back in ETV. <laughs> Thank you.